Hello, my name is Tim Edwards and welcome to the Timsey Edwards Music YouTube channel. This is the final series in learning how to play Amazing Grace. Uh, the previous lesson I taught you how to play Amazing Grace using the three simple chords of G major, C major, and D major. Uh, today we're going to be using the same three chords, uh, but we're going to be uh, adding some additional transitional chords of E minor, uh, G7 chord, and an A7 chord and a D7 chord. It'll make this song uh, much more colorful to play and more enjoyable to play. There's a link in my description uh, below uh, that you can download this lesson and chord progressions. Uh, please, uh, you can stop the video and, and take time to do that and print that off uh, before we get started. So let's get started on this lesson. Okay, like in the previous lesson, uh, I taught you how to play Amazing Grace using uh, the three simple chords of G major, C major, and D major. Uh, we're going to be basically building on those three chords and adding the chords of E minor and adding several seventh chords, uh, G7, uh, A7, and D7, uh, to make the transition between the chords more colorful and enjoyable to play. And, uh, Again, I just want to remind you, uh, the timing of Amazing Grace is 3-4 timing. Therefore, there's three beats per measure. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so, uh, by now you should know how to play the, the G major, C major, and D major, but we'll review those chords. Uh, we just, just kind of zoom in. Actually, the chords we're going to be using is G major, G7, C, G, E minor, A7, D, and D7. So those are the chords that we're going to be uh, learning today. So just a quick review of, of the chord of G major. You take your first finger, place it on the fifth string of the second fret, and then your second finger on the very top E string or string number six on the third fret and then your pinky finger on the first string of the third fret uh, and then strum all strings that is G major okay to make a G seventh chord you want to take your index finger number one place it on the very first string of the first fret and then stretch finger number two back up to the uh, fifth string on the second fret and then stretch finger number three to the third fret of the last string. I, I know it's a stretch for you but that makes a G seventh chord and then strum all strings. That's a G seventh chord. So here's a G and then G seven. That transitions you into the C. Now, to make place your index finger number one on the second string of the first fret, skip a string, place finger number two on string number four of the second fret, and then stretch your third finger to fret number three of the fifth string. And you want to mute this top string here. Just, just barely uh, rest your thumb on top of it. Play all strings except for the top one. And that's a C. Okay, to play an E, you just place finger number one on string number three on the first fret, and then finger number two on the fifth string of the second fret, and then finger number three on the fourth string of the second fret. Now that's an E that you learned in previous lessons. To make that an E minor, just simply lift off on your first finger and just keep finger number two and three down. And you wanna strum all strings since E is the, is the primary root note, uh, just strum all the strings. So the E, you have the first finger on the third string of the first fret. You just simply lift that off to make an E minor. E minor. Okay? To make an A7 chord, I taught you in previous lessons, to make an A, 
here uh, with your index finger on string number three of the second fret, uh, finger number two on the fourth string of the second fret, and then finger number three on the second string of the second fret. All the fingers are on that one fret. All you have to do to make an, that makes an A, all you have to do to make an A7 is just simply lift off of your finger number one, index finger, and mute your top string. Again, just kind of rest your thumb there or don't play it, and you want to strum uh, strings five on down. Okay, strum an A string. So that makes an A7, A7 chord. Okay, and then to make the D chord, you place your first finger on string number three of the second fret, then your second finger on the first string of the second fret, and then your third finger on string number two of the third fret. And you can strum all strings but the top one again. That makes a D, okay? To make a D7, you want to place your index finger on string number two of the first fret, place your second finger on string number three of the second fret, and then your third finger on the first string of the second fret. And then strum all strings but the top one. That makes a D7 chord. So here's a D. D7. And then you'll go back to G. Okay? So just kind of look at those again. You got G major chord. G7. C. Back to G. E minor. A7, D major, D7, so that, that's basically the progression of Amazing Grace. Okay, so to, to strum Amazing Grace, each chord, uh, you'll just play one measure or one bar, uh, so you'll play three strums. So playing Amazing Grace straight through will be be like this. One, two, three. 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 One, two. Okay, very good. So now let's transition to the practice backing track. We'll be using these same chords and transitional seventh chords uh, just like we played. And you'll see my hands uh, strum and chord and you'll hear my guitar play as well on the first track. And then on the second track, uh, you'll see me play and we'll have the chords uh, posted, but you will not hear me play. So let's give it a try.
was it? Beautiful hymn, beautiful song. There's a lot of chords thrown in there, uh, but just practice and with time, uh, it'll teach you how to transition into the various chords, how to transition from G to C using that G seventh chord and how to transition from D uh, uh, back to G using a transitional chord of D seven. It's a very beautiful arrangement and I'm glad you uh, enjoy playing that. Okay, that ends our lesson for today. And uh, if you like this uh, lesson, be sure and hit the like button uh, down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please take time to subscribe. It's free, there's no obligation. It just simply uh, bookmarks uh, my channel onto your subscription so uh, I can be found easily. And, and also you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So I appreciate you joining me today and uh, may God bless you.